So this video majorly consists of five parts. In first part, we will completely break down the strategy. We will understand what type of indicators this strategy is using and how the logic works. So in the second part, we will quickly try to decode the code and just have an overview of the source code. And in the third part, we will backtest the strategy on last one year of data on almost 70 coins on multiple time frames like 5 minute, 15 minute, 1 hour, 4 hour, 12 hour in one day. And in the fourth part, we will hyper optimize the parameters and find the best parameters we should be using with this strategy. And in the last part, we will analyze and make you aware about the do's and don'ts, pros and cons of this strategy and on which time frame this should be avoided and on which time frame this should be definitely used. So let's get started. So how does this strategy works and what kind of indicators this strategy is using? So what happens? This strategy mainly works in the trending markets. So it aims to capture profits by riding the momentum of a strong uptrend or downtrend. There is a multi-layered filter system to refine entry and exit signals. So you can have a look at the source code and get an idea of it. Okay. So basically it uses these five components, these five indicators. Now first is ADX, average directional index, a technical indicator that measures the strength of a trend regardless of its direction up or down it can be anything then AO awesome oscillator a technical indicator that measures the difference between two moving averages of a price momentum indicator typically used to identify potential trend reversals then it uses MACD it's a very famous and popular indicator moving average convergence divergence this is an indicator that uses the relationship between two exponential moving average of the security spice to identify change in momentum potential trend reversals and buying selling opportunities then it uses rmi relative strength index a technical indicator that measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions it is also known as rsi right and ssl standard stochastic oscillator a technical indicator that compares the closing price of a security to its price range over a specific period to identify potential trending in the market. So what are the conditions when it goes for the buy condition? So the MACD value in the data frame must be greater than zero, AO value in the data frame must be greater than zero and previous AO value must be less than zero. These are the buy conditions. What are the sell conditions? The minimum ROI and stop loss. I'll just explain you definition of these things in the next part, in the second part in which we will have a look at the source code so let's move to the second part and open the strategy so this is a link i just paste the link in the description you can download you can analyze and you can backtest the strategy so these are the libraries which the strategy is using so it is importing those libraries you can see these are the common the panda numpy talib 20a and this is the class machete v8b so this is the class name. You should be using this one when you mention the strategy name in the command. Okay. And these are the cell parameters. And here is the, the cell condition. Okay. So what is the meaning of this minimal ROI? Like this is the minutes 0, 92, 245, 561. And these are the percentage. So like if a trade has been open for less than 92 hours, the minimum ROI to close the trade profitably is 27.9 means it should be the at least at 27.9 once it reaches the 92 minutes right it's open for 92 minutes and when it's between the 92 minutes and 245 it should be at least 10.9 percent and when it is between 245 and 561 it should be at least 5.9 percent but when it's greater than 560 minutes open then it could be closed even if in like negative or zero so that is the minimal roi conditions and stop loss is 10 percent right like it's the maximum acceptable loss for a trade so if the price of any cryptocurrency being traded falls more than 10 percent from the buy price the trade will be automatically closed to limit potential losses these are the two conditions and remaining the code is very long there are around 800 lines so it's not practically possible for me to explain this in this video so you can let me know if you have any doubt in this code i'll be happy to help you in next videos okay so now let's move to the third part which is backtesting 
so for backtesting you need to have the historical data so what you can do i have given the link in description so this is the website from where you can directly copy and paste the commands and i have also provided the link for this strategy so you can backtest this and in this article i have explained this whole strategy like in a very detailed manner if you want you can just have a look at this and let me know if you have any doubt and you can like suggest me anything and we can improvise that right so i'll just start the data downloading but as i already have the data so i will just show you the command and then we move to the next step which is backtesting so what you can do you can just copy and you can paste the command into your terminal and for this strategy like we have backtested and found that the 15 minute time frame is the best you can backtest with any other time frame also and let me know in the comments what are the best parameters for this and what are the best currencies right so just hit enter and the data will be downloaded right so the next command is the backtesting command okay so what we can do we can just copy and paste this command here so here you have to mention backtesting and the strategy name okay you can also mention the time range here like generally it takes the by default time range but if you want to backtest with some like by default it will take the one year data which we have downloaded but if you just want to test with the 30 days time period so what you can do you can just mention just mention here time range and you can mention like 23 to 24 okay like this you will be able to backtest with just one month of data right and you can mention the time frame here so we'll be mentioning 15 minutes but as we will be testing with the by default data so i will just mention the time frame here which is 15 minutes and then hit enter it says this class doesn't exist or contain python code errors actually this error will come like now you have two options to resolve the issue one you check in the strategy folder if that strategy file is existing or not or you can mention here the path so i will just check the strategy folder which is and when i check there is no strategy right so you can just copy the machete strategy into the folder and now you can run the command okay so just wait for a while and let's see so after waiting for a few moments we have the results and here you can see that total profit is 772.65 percent and the win percentage is 70 percent which is very good right and we started with $1,000 and we ended with $8,726.535, which is awesome, right? And here you can also analyze the, the best currency pair, like the INJ gave the very good results. And then in backtesting, if you see that some currencies are not good, then you can remove those in the live trading, right? So this way you can improvise your trading and it says the best day, worst day and the profit factor, expectancy ratio. So now let's move to the fourth part, which is hyper optimization in which we can optimize our strategy, like to which are the best parameters we can use and we can increase our profits, right? So what you can do, you can just copy and paste the command from the article and you can just modify these things as per your requirements, like which time range you want to use here and the time frame. So just hit enter and run the hyper optimization. You can see in the first epoch the profit was 53 and in the second it increased to 141 144 147 so in the last one it increased and now these are the parameters you can optimize like these are the hyperspace buy parameters sell parameters roi should be this for this and the stop loss trailing stop and make open trades so it is really good it's better to run more epochs like around at least uh, 1000 so for that you have to have a good computer or a server where you can hyper optimize these parameters right so now we come at the conclusion so in conclusion i would say like you should go for thorough backtesting and hyper optimization and definitely use the time frame and the currency pair list which suits best to you at least do backtesting on previous five years of data and at least run thousand epoch and then find out the best combination of currency pair time frame right like in the time range and then you implement on your live strategy so before that do your research do your work modify the strategy if you want and then only go for that right 
so this is it for this video if you have any doubt any confusion let me know in the comments we would be happy to help you and we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye take care have a nice day